ailment as well as the deplorable condition uh, he was living in. Uh, we'll be reading some of those as I just tried to get a where they are on my phone but i understand george is back online george uh, good morning talk to us uh, about uh, you know what it is you remember and your thoughts uh, having covered um zeo Zhuang and of course in this particular sector uh, or area of um, arts your thoughts on this news good morning yeah good morning yeah it's, it's a sad day for kenya mm -hmm. To lose a man of such immense physical stature as the first one. He is, he is Kenya's Charlie Chaplin. He is the father of Kenyan comedy. Many of you, many of Kenyans, remember that uh, the TV without a Chuan would not be the TV. And for us, well, it was the voice of Kenya. When the TV was open at 5 p.m., we look forward to listen to the Oja with him. And without Juan, there was no action. Uh, so my, for me, uh, my, my condolences to the family and friends. Juan uh, lived it. It was the element, the realm of Kenyan. TV acting and also classic comedy was so good. I didn't think it was very hard to find any person who could act, not even in the way he did. And for that, he inspired me. Uh, for that, the artist, also a film master, who in very well high school, one of the things he did was just look at the drawing. And again, you know, literally copy what you did on the TV program and reproduce it on stage at school. And so, so uh, in that way, you can look at him as a teacher. Because in his acting, he taught so many people how to act. And he brought in a lot of different Yes. In the acting realm, when family, society, found upon acting as a child. All right. All right, briefly, George, also how do you describe the, the type of genre uh, that we saw him play out on television, briefly? Sorry? How do you describe the type of genre that we saw him perform on TV for all these years? Yeah, that's why I call him the, the, the child suffering of Kenya, because it is sloppy comedy. A uh, comedy where if you spontaneously think about the line uh, and, 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 and relate to real life situations of people, become a mirror of the people. Uh. I okay, people George, people George, people. George, I'll interrupt you because uh, your line is not very clear. We cannot make out a lot of what you're saying, but we will uh, get to link up with you later on on the show. Uh, but Mzem, uh, Zhuang profile uh, was born in 1937 in present-day Nyeri, uh, but he managed to touch the lives of Kenyans with his comedy all across the country. And uh, here now is a look back at the life and times of the great, great thespian. When he did his thing, he left everyone in stitches. Benson Wanjao, but who many Kenyans only remembered as Mzee Ojuang Hatari, graced every national moment of honor. <laughs> On this occasion, he even performed at the launch of one of the East African Community Protocols. <laughs> Kama East African community. Ah, yes, son. Mzee Ojuang featured in the all-time famous Vitimbi comedies and the comical court drama series Vioja Mahakamani. But for all his fame in March this year, Mzee Ojuang hit the headlines when he went down with multiple ailments that caused him to go blind on one eye. That caused a national storm as fellow actors accused their former employer KBC of neglect. The government later denied the allegations. They are owed zero by KBC. 
they, they served out their contract and they were paid everything. Help did arrive from Zeo Juang, but he would never grace the screens again. Mzeo Juang was born in present-day Nyeri County in 1937 and is said to have dropped out of school in Form 2 owing to financial difficulties. He became a household name from the early 80s at the then Voice of Kenya. But the latter days of his life revealed an all-too-familiar path of many artists who put a smile on many faces but leave the stage with tales of misery. Benson Wanjao, Mze Ojuang Hatari, dead at 78. Jogeo, KTN News.